All right, so shop's all cleaned up here. Today is Thursday. Not much gonna happen today. Uh, yesterday's video got pretty cocked over, huh? Like I was making a video, but um, we had a little incident yesterday. If you didn't watch yesterday's video before I put up of the uh, zero turn, uh, you should probably go watch it because we had a little incident with the GoPro. Yeah. I could probably resell the backing plate Oh, no, 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 it's, it's chewed up, I uh, big my purr, but, um, yeah, as you can see, the, uh, GoPro Hero 2 is no longer existent, I mowed right over it yesterday with the, uh, zero turn, I'll explain the story here in a second, so, uh, yeah, yesterday we got the mower all working, uh, I did a little test drive around the area, and I was like, oh, I know, I'll get the GoPro, and we'll do a little GoPro mowing video. So I had it on there for a little while, and, you know, it seemed fine. And then I turned it, and it I got up over the hill of the sidewalk, and then just past the tree, the fucking thing dropped, didn't see it. And I tell you what, when you run over a GoPro, it makes the most craziest noise you'll ever hear. Uh, hopefully you'll never hear it, but... I've heard it, and it sounds like you fucking just hit a brick. Um, so yeah, that's what happened. Fell right off. I was using the uh, suction cup mount. Because uh, I don't trust these things anymore. If I can find one. I don't trust the uh, the ones that have the glue on them. But now I'm not trusting any of the uh, mounts, period. So for now on, or if I do get another GoPro, you know, these mounts here, they clip into like a little uh, thing in the back. So it'll adhesive on it. Yeah, I don't trust those anymore because the first time um, when I was using my GoPro, the first GoPro I had, I lost that snowmobiling because it didn't stick to the hood. Uh, that fell right off. Uh, now this, the fucking GoPro went through the mower because of the suction cup mount. And uh, it's funny too, when we go snowmobiling with the uh, GoPros, I have a strap. A little lanyard that goes on the GoPro and, you know, it holds it on in case it does fall off or something like that. We, you know, we keep it on there. Well, I had the, the strap on there, but the fucking thing was so long that when it hit the fucking mower, it just went right underneath it. So, yeah. Uh, so that's what happened yesterday. GoPro got mowed over. Um, don't really know what to say, you know. <laughs> It's like, don't get me wrong, they make a great product, but their fucking mounts suck. You know? So, get some parts for sale. I'm parting out a GoPro. Anybody interested? <laughs> I wish I could find the memory card. The memory card would be awesome. Like, I found pieces of the memory card, but I've yet to find the whole memory card. You know? So, I don't know. Just a whole mess of different pieces and such in there. Like this is what's in the battery. Like that was pretty different. You know. And there's the, you know, the locking piece that goes on the unit. And, you know, I can kind of sort of see bits and pieces in there. Like okay, there's the old cover right there, the green Articat cover. So, I mean, there was like 300 bucks down the shitter right there. And I had the, uh, I had the backing plate. The LCD backing plate, the GoPro Hero 2, the suction cup mount on it, and my Articat decal kit. So there's about an easy $300 plus. So that's gone down the shitter. And uh, it's funny too, I've been saving the Google Ad money uh, so I could buy a new shop camera. Uh, I looked at a camera a couple weeks ago there. Uh, it was a Sony, I don't know, a Sony something or other. It was just a handheld one. That was pretty decent. And the other one was a can't think of the other name, but they're both pretty good cameras. I was thinking about picking them up, but now it's like, what do I do, guys? Do I go out and buy a new shop camera? Or do I go out and buy a new GoPro? And if I get the GoPro, it'll probably be the newer style because, well, they don't make this style anymore. So it'd be probably like the GoPro Silver or something like that. I forget what they're called. The GoPro Hero 3 Silver Edition. I don't know. So I need you guys' input on that if I should... Go up, buy another GoPro. Uh, keep in mind that I will be getting uh, ATV here pretty soon, hopefully this weekend. Um, 
I've been searching pretty hard on the Craigslist trying to find a new project. I'm hoping that'll be the next project for the shop here. And, uh, you know, when I go out, I'd like to bring you guys along with me. So, you know, if I could find a used GoPro for a reasonable amount of price and maybe a used camera could make that work. But I can't buy both, you know, new. You know, I could either buy one new GoPro or one new camera for the shop, which we're kind of using right now, you know. Uh, this camera here, the uh, warranty's up on it, and uh, I didn't get a warranty with this thing uh, because I bought it on eBay. You know, I think I paid, uh, I forget what I paid for it, but I, I know it was cheap. It was really cheap at the time. It was before they went to like the 230 price. Um, but uh, yeah, so let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Oh, there's probably the LCD backing screen. Here's the cover. Uh, so let me know in the comments what do you guys suggest. Do I go out, buy another GoPro, run it over, lose it, or do we get another camera for the shop here? Uh, you know, one thing I'd like to point out is the reason why the video quality sucks is it's not the camera. It's actually the way how I render it. Uh, the rendering software that I use is Magix Plus Movie Edit 16 or something like that. And it's the only one that I can really figure out how to use. Uh, I can't figure out how to use the Windows one. It cocks over the program big time. Um, the other one is the Sony Vegas. Uh, Adam from Vlogging Life told me about it. I've used it a couple of times, and I just haven't had good luck with it. I just can't figure out the, the process. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to try a while back is maybe get an old... Uh, Apple computer and use iMovie. Uh, I heard that's a pretty good software to use. Uh, so if I could try that and then render one of those videos with this camera, I'm sure it'd come out pisser. So I mean, there's a couple of options of doing it. Do I go out buy a new camera? Do I go out buy a little laptop? Or do I go out buy a GoPro? You know, so help me out in the comments below. But anyways, we're gonna get off that subject and uh, we'll get on with this subject. So here's what's left of the. Uh, the Craftsman, uh, basically there's nothing left other than the frame, you know. Uh, I would keep the flywheel, but it's all fucked up. Uh, the magnets underneath are all cocked over, and then a few guys were suggesting I should sleeve uh, this block here. But honestly, I just, um, I don't know. I don't, I mean, I'm sure you could sleeve it, but it's awfully close to the edge, and I don't think I'll ever really need a block. <coughs> Like this again, um, you know, usually when they're blowing up, I don't rebuild them because they're just too expensive to rebuild these and cost an easy 150 bucks just for one connecting rod with all the gases and everything. You still get, I mean, each piston costs like $50 and the connecting rod is like another $30 and the gaskets like another $25 and you got to do the cylinder uh, head gaskets and those are another ten dollars and it just you know the price goes on and on you gotta clean it you know it's not really worth rebuilding an engine if you guys have asked me that it's honestly not if you know if it's your personal engine yeah maybe you can rebuild it but it's not worth rebuilding um so i'm just gonna scrap it for the aluminum and that's it there uh we get the zero turn outside i get the oil draining on it right now so i can change the oil on surprisingly not a single sparkle in the thing so that's actually a really good sign <gasps> but that's um, basically what we got going on. Uh, I've emailed a few guys about a, a Yamaha, uh, <coughs> ooh, baby, uh, Yamaha blaster. So we'll have to see how those work out. But I'm on my way up the street. I gotta go check out a, uh, a Pantera scooter. Uh, it's the next job we got coming in the shop here. So I'm gonna walk up, take a look at it, see what we can do, and uh, we'll take it from there. See you in a little bit. Pantera Transport Gas Scooter. Oh yeah, more Chinese junk for the shop. Awesome. But anyway, so I just picked up this little scooter here. Uh, I'm going to try and figure out what's up with it. As you can see, it's a Chinese favorite. Hopefully we'll have some Chinese food later, but this is what we got going on. we got a little weed whacker two-stroke engine on it. And uh, yeah, guy wants to see if he can not get it running. See what it needs in my job this day to figure out what it needs to get it going. Uh, most likely I'll probably just end up replacing the carburetor if it needs to be rebuilt. Uh, but I'm going to check for spark first. 
See how we're doing that. Uh, one thing I noticed as I was bringing it down is uh, if you look right here, it must be like a, a gas and a um, battery operated one too. Because you got your power battery right here and your battery one right here and then this is your speed. So I'm imagining that you could stick a little electric motor on here too. It must be like a reverse or something like that so you can either put either or on. But uh, that's pretty cool. Let's see if it's got any battery though. Um, I don't think the key is supposed to be spinning all the way around. <laughs> Alright. Well, I guess we'll put it somewhere there because I don't know what the hell that Chinese emblem is. Yep, we got no power. So I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll open Terra. Alright, so I got the little uh, Pintera scooter here, running. I gave her a quick little tester over there a couple minutes ago. Man, this is one sketchy ass machine. <laughs> Fucking, I was, uh, I test her over, I get up to maybe like max speed, and max speed's maybe pushing it 14 miles an hour. Fucking thing shakes like a bastard. Holy shit. So I, I go up to the top of the hill and then I go up and then up and almost to the very top of the hill and I'm like, huh, I should probably test the brakes before I go down the hill. Sure enough, not a spot of stopping. <laughs> so I had to use my boots the whole way down and it was a long way down. But uh, I know there's one other thing uh, other than the brakes. I got to throw a little air in the tire because <laughs> uh, she's a little flat <laughs> that might have concerned with the v vibration I was feeling <laughs> so I don't know I'll have to get that uh done real quick but she fires up she needs a little bit of adjusting uh throttle cables a little C so I stuck a little penetrate and float in it but uh figured out the key too just don't turn all the way around just only go to one click Not too bad, not too bad. But uh, yeah, just make sure you step on it or hold something as you go to start it, cause like I just did, she friggin' knocked over. But we gotta figure it out. Not that big of a deal. All right, so that wasn't too bad. Uh, I got the brakes adjusted there. Man, that friggin' sucked trying to get the tire inflatator over here on the tire. Come on, because. If you look right here, they make you no room to get through there and actually end up getting this thing stuck in the fucking brake rotor, I guess we'll call it, where the disc, it sucked, <laughs> you know. So I think I got her. I think we're going to go for one more rip, and I guess we'll call her a done deal with this thing, I guess. He's got one more, I think, but that won't be today. That'll probably be like next week or something. But not too bad, not too bad. Let's go take a rip. All right, well that's all done. Quick, simple fix. I don't even think I worked on it. I worked on it about an hour or so. Wasn't too bad, but man, that thing's pretty fucking sketchy. <laughs> it just shakes like crazy. Could be the road though. Couldn't have the greatest roads around me, but you know, all said and done. Quick little thirty-dollar job. I'm not gonna rip the guy off. I didn't really do much. But uh, yeah, all done there. Wouldn't give my kids one of these, that's for damn sure. Fucking sketchy ass piece of Chinese shit. Yeah. It's fun. But not for your ass. Because it hurts. Especially when you hit a... You see a bump about this big? In the road like a little tiny pothole? <laughs> your ass cringes every time, I tell you. Like, it's like, oh, don't hit that. And the, gonna kick in, you're gonna hit the brakes, slow down. Yeah. But <laughs> that's a little scary for that thing, I'll tell you. But anyway, scooter done. I'm gonna start hauling some scrap out of here, and I think this came to the end of the video. Oh yeah. All right, so I just got done uh, pulling in the zero turn here. Uh, almost had a freaking heart failure over here just a second ago. 
I was driving around, and I was like, what the fuck's that rattling noise? And it was like a really weird rattling noise. I'm like, oh, fuck, maybe there's something wrong with the engine, this and that. But no, no. No, no, it's actually my flopper guy right here. It was rattling. It was making like the most crazy sound. I was like, what the fuck's that noise? And I noticed it was somewhat moving, so I just held it there for a second. Stopped the rattling. I was like, oh, thank God. Freaked me right out, but anyway, that's the completeness of it. Uh, obviously, I made the video yesterday on it, but my uh, memory card that I made everything on yesterday was on the GoPro, so yeah. I'm, I'm just glad it wasn't my, my new memory card that was in the uh, GoPro, because the new memory card I have is in my camera right now. Um, the one that's in here is a 62 gigabyte, and it holds like, I don't even know, it holds a lot of memory. And the last 32, which was that, uh, for some reason it was like defective. It only held like, uh, I think it was like 23 minutes of video. So there was something wrong with it anyway. So at least it wasn't a big loss there. But fuck, the GoPro. $300 down the shitter. I just can't get over it. Junk. But anyway, so. I guess I can fire it up for you. Uh, I don't think you guys really heard it the other day there. So I'll fire it up real fast. And yeah, I think we're on the video. I'm going to just do a little bit of work on the chute here. Get it, the spring on and a few other, other things stuff. Um, get it ready. So. Nope. I always forget about that. Hey. There we go. Works for me. Anyway, so we're going to end the video here, guys. Hopefully you guys have a good day. I uh, don't be expecting a video tomorrow. Not much really going to happen. I'm going to be on the hunt for ATV this weekend. So I'll be probably this weekend's project if I can pick one up for sure up money. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, we'll talk to you guys later. Hopefully you guys all have a good day tomorrow. And uh, we'll see you. I damn near forgot two things. So uh, last night there, I watched uh, that video of Texas. Holy shit, that was a fucking explosion, huh? Like if you haven't already heard or looked it up, type on YouTube and just type in Texas. Uh, fucking uh, Texas explosion, I guess. And it was something crazy. The guy um, was right across the street there, I guess. One of his family members was uh, injured in it. I guess they, they kind of sort of lost their hearing or something like that. Because I guess they used to live pretty damn close to it. So, fucking, that's, that's just fucking crazy. And I still don't know what the cause of it is, so that's just even more crazier. And I almost forgot the daily shout-out. Uh, today's shout-out is going to be the Musty One. Uh, if you don't know him, check out his channel. I've been subscribed to him for damn near almost three, four years now. Fucking, he puts out a video almost three days a week, maybe four or five. And he's got some pretty good uh, videos. He's been making videos for a long time. Um... You know, pretty good guy. I've met him a few times. Um, he works on all kinds of stuff. Cars, trucks, uh, tractors. Uh, right now he's in the process of, well, semi in the process of uh, rebuilding a Porsche engine. I think it's like 349cc, something like that. I forget what it was. Uh, but he's in the process of doing that. You know, every now and then he'll go down and see VW Darren and stuff like that. Uh, pretty good guy, you know. Um, just, um... All around good guy. Check him out. He makes a pretty good video. Um, there's no editing involved in his videos. He just basically tells you how it is, what it is. Um, has some funny videos along the way too. You know, I'm dying to see when he puts his boat in the water because that's always a good video. He always pulls it out, puts it in. It's a pretty good video. So if you want, check him out. Links below in the description. And uh, tomorrow we'll be doing another shout out. So anyway, now we can end the video. See you guys tomorrow. See ya.